A critical showdown for the Bengals. Mike Petralia inside M&T Bank Stadium. Here tonight, the 5-4 and four Bengals look to get back on track after dropping that heartbreaker at home on Sunday to the Houston Texans. They are also facing a team that had a four-game winning streak snapped on Sunday as the Ravens dramatically lost a 31-17 lead in the fourth quarter, fell to the Cleveland Browns 33-31. So both teams have a lot to play for tonight. The first place Ravens and the last place Bengals, although the Bengals still come into this game with a winning record of five and four. The news before the game, Charlie Jones is activated from injured reserve with that thumb injury. He will be active tonight. Most likely serves as the fourth active wide receiver behind Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, and Trenton Irwin. Obviously, Joe Burrow wants to get this offense involved and in gear early on. Do not want to play from behind against the number two overall rated defense in the NFL on the road in a hostile environment like M&T Bank Stadium. Could this game end or come down to a close finish like it did last year? Of course, that was a Sunday night game when Justin Tucker hit the game winner to give the Ravens a 19-17 victory. The Bengals tonight have to get their offense in gear early and play from ahead. Do not play from behind in this type of environment tonight with the Bengals being shorthanded. In addition to the three injuries of T. Higgins, Andre Yosibosh, and Sam Hubbard, the Bengals will have three other inactives, including Jackson Carmen and Trey Hill. Devin Harper is also inactive tonight for the Bengals. Huge game tonight for the Bengals as they get ready to take on the 7-3 first place Baltimore Ravens on the road here in M&T Bank Stadium. We will have you covered throughout the game and of course post game on CLNSCincy.com. Follow me on Twitter at Trags, T-R-A-G-S. And as always, look for my videos from the locker room and the podium on my YouTube channel at Jungle Roar Pod. Inside M&T Bank Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.